Greetings everyone, I am Daniel Lowry with IT Pro TV and I'm going to take you through what you're going to need to know and learn in the CyberSec First Responder Series for the CFR 310 exam. Uh, let me tell you a little bit about myself. I've been in systems and networking and also security for over 20 years now. So I'm going to bring that knowledge to the table and act as your subject matter expert throughout this series. I will be joined by a host and they will be acting as the learner for you. So those questions that you're probably thinking about as we go through this, they'll be answering and asking or asking that for you as we move along. Now, let me tell you a little bit about the exam itself. And I think the best way to do that is just to jump into certain Nexus's website and take a look at the information they give for us there. You can see for the CyberSec First Responder, this is the blue team certification for cybersecurity. And it's got a lot of information here. I think one of the most important things is that it says that it is a comprehensive certification designed to validate the knowledge and skills required to protect these critical information systems during, uh, before, during, and after an incident. And uh, I think that's probably a very important thing, but a very key idea to how we're going to move and progress through the series itself, that we're trying to help you Make sure you know all the things you need to know for the exam and that you're going to validate skills you probably already have because uh, as, you, as we get down into it, we'll see that you're probably working in that role anyway. Uh, you see this is also DOD 8570 or 8140 compliance. So if you need a certification that, is, uh, the, that, that meets that compliance specification, the CFR will do that for you. All right, a couple of the things we need to know. Let's see here. Um, Let's, let's move down through and take a look at what the exam will actually look like. Kind of gives you some information like target candidate, which are individuals between, uh, with between three and five years of experience, working in a computing environment as part of a, of a CERT or a C-CERT, or maybe you work in a SOC, uh, and you protect critical information systems before, during, and after incidents. Like I said, a little bit of validation. Some of the common job roles that you'll see that lend itself to this certification. And then, of course... The exam description this is probably the most important part for us, uh, things that we need to know. Again, success, uh, successful candidate has the knowledge, it's going to certify that, that you have the knowledge, skills, and abilities to, required to deal with a changing threat landscape and will be able to assess risk and vulnerabilities, acquire data, perform analysis, continually communicate and determine scope, recommend remediation, and accurately report those results. It's going to be 100 questions. 120 minutes, multiple choice, multiple response. Um, let's see what else here. This will be done at Pearson View Centers. So if you want to take the exam, you're going to go to a Pearson View Center and sit in a, a proctored testing booth. Uh, you need a 70 to 71% passing score, and it's going to depend on the exam form that you're actually delivered at the time of the exam. Very important. One other thing I want to kind of go through is the goals of this and how this uh, series is going to be structured. And a helpful thing for that is if you come right here under exam details and click this exam blueprint, you'll find inside that document the domains that make up the CFR study guide, right? So we have threats and attacks, data collection and analysis, incident response methods, tools, and techniques, the incident response process, and vulnerability assessment. So five domains, breaking it up on what you're going to be uh, responsible for when it comes to the exam itself. Uh, so very good stuff. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take each one of these. I'm going to look through. I'm going to basically take your outline and we're going to make episodes out of each one of those modules so that we make sure that, to hit on every point you'll need to be successful in the exam. So that's that's my goal as the subject matter expert. A couple of resources that could be helpful in this as you follow along with me is have maybe some virtualization, right? So spin up your favorite VirtualBox or VMware Workstation or Fusion or whatever the case may be. And I would highly recommend a Kali Linux distribution and maybe one or two Windows machines as well, just so that you can play around with this stuff, get some hands on. Um, from there, any other resources that you'll need, I'll make sure to give you that information per those episodes. That being said, I'm pretty excited about this series. It's gonna be a lot of fun. We're gonna take a look at threats from the attacking side. We're gonna take a look at uh, defense, obviously from the blue team side of things. And we're gonna get a really well-rounded perspective of what you need to do to be successful as a first responder, as an incident responder, and how you can validate those skills and knowledge that you already have for your job you're already at or maybe a new one in the future so i'm really excited again and i will see you in that upcoming series